So there's so many different options with with this system yeah. and, and ultimately you get the repeatability and save that setup time which is absolutely key nowadays. Definitely. I mean a lot of the customers would you know if they had a lot of fixtures on the shelf that they spend sort of three or four hours setting up each job and you should they shouldn't be doing that. They should be doing the, this offline and all all you need to do is modify your existing fixtures with these plugs, have the plugs on the shelf and you literally put them on, take them off, within a couple of minutes you're ready to go. Mac 2022, I'm joined by Matt Gines, the second generation of Microlock and we're going to be reviewing your product portfolio that you're exhibiting at yep. Mac 2022. Is it great to be back at Mac, Matt? It is, it's great, it's been a great show for us. We've had a lot of very interesting customers We've actually sold some kits off the stand, so it's been a very good, good show so far. May and it continue. I mean, it's it's been four years since we've been at Mac. You know, a lot in the world has changed in four years. How have your product portfolio? How has your product portfolio changed in four years? Well, we've got our standard um, Microlock products here. Um, we've got a few new jaws and things like that for them, but basically they they're pretty consistent. We've got a, a new zero point system that we've launched for the show. Uh, we've got some new products from a company called Copal in France. They're brand new for the show. We've just taken on that, that agency. Um, so, so yeah, yeah, it's going well. So I'd say everyone is familiar with your Microlock Pretty system, much, yeah. and, but let's just run through it for the people that may not be. And I'm really excited to, to review the new products as well, Matt. So okay. let's start with the Microlock system and start with the smaller kit. Okay, well, this is the, the 50 series. And so we do three, we've got the 50, 75 and 100 and that number represents the pitching of the slots. But basically the, the base is made to suit customer requirements ranging from 300 by 200 up to a metre and a half by three quarters of a metre. We do cubes, we do tombstones but they, they're made to suit the requirements and then we make the fixed jaws and the vice jaws go on there to hold the parts as required. So we move up to the next kit. Is it, in principle, is the next kit just scaled up? Basically, yes. Yeah. So this is our 75 series. You have the T-slots in both directions on this one. And then you go up to the 100 series. These are two-ton vices, more for big horizontals, big verticals, holding very big parts. So when you say two-ton, that's the clamping force, Matt? That's the clamping force, yeah, yeah. And this is, you know, perfect for a three axis machine, but what about horizontal milling? Is it capable of uh, being loaded onto a, a tombstone, for example? That's right, yeah, we make the cubes to suit the, the machine. So, for example, a 500 pallet horizontal, we would make a cube or design a cube to suit that. So whether it's a, a four-sided cube or a tombstone, we make that depending on customer requirements. So significant um, clamping force. What about repeatability? Uh, it's plus or minus 10 microns over a metre, so it is very accurate, and it's all British made. British made is a big, big point. What I can see from here is you get a lot of versatility and you can present a lot of components to the spindle dependent on the machine envelope. Is, is, is this a key feature? It is, yeah. I mean, the main point of Microlock is that it's not just a, a holding system, it's a referencing system as well. So that's what makes it different to just a vice system, for example example so you have your, your base which gives you the grid and that enables you to accurately locate all of your work pieces on there in a known date and position so that's really what it's all about it's it's clamping quickly efficiently in date and positions but it also gives you the um, potential to move these jaws around wherever you want so it's very modular and flexible that's right yeah I mean one day you can use it to clamp something very small the next day you can use it to clamp something very large, even the full size of, of your table, because it's completely flexible, you can clamp in both directions, and like I said, small or large or large parts. Brilliant, Matt, and I can see you've got different jaw options here, soft jaws, uh, gripper jaws, V-block jaws, so lots of different jaw options too. Now, I'm really excited, Matt, to, to look and, and, and review this new product range. This is the first time I've seen this, this product range, Kapow. Yep. Um, again, I can see what these products are, the centric grippers, but can you talk us through the complete range? I've not really seen a system like this before. Yeah, I can yeah. see what the application is, yeah. but not really seen it at a show before. Well, we, we've recently taken on this range from a company in France called Copal. Uh, I've been working um, 
with them on an agreement. They're going to represent Microlock in France and we're going to represent their products in the UK. So it's a counter agreement that we have with them. We've launched it just for the show um, and as you can see we've had a lot of interest. We, we've got the low profile clamping systems here. You've got the big heavy top clamps here and everything's versatile. These are basically riser blocks that you can just take out the system like so. And then here we've got the big chain clamps that I really like. This is something really interesting. So you imagine your workpiece like so. And these are so powerful because you literally are clamping all around the outside of the part. So that has really got that part. So great idea, great idea, pull down force. Pull down force, and there's lots of different sizes to suit requirements, but this would be used on a big horizontal, for example, holding a, a big sort of turbine or a big engine part or something like that. So think big scale, and that's what this stuff can do as well. Love it, Matt, love it. Now, zero point, something close to my heart. I, I keep banging on about zero point um, so much. Um, New system for you. Yeah. Um, talk us through it, Matt, and, and, and why should people, you know, there's a lot of zero point systems out there course, in the market. Yeah. Why should people come and choose a zero point system from Microlock? Well, we've, we've been selling the, um, the standard um, hydraulic one for a long time now, and we've been very successful with it. But there is some, sometimes people find it annoying. They have to buy a pump, a hydraulic pump as well. They have to wheel it around. So we've recently bought out a pneumatic version. You don't lose much power. It's about 15% less power. But to be honest, this one is uh, something 50 tons retention force anyway. And this one is 40 tons retention force. So it's very powerful anyway. So all it works, you, it works on the standard workshop supply. So it's just six bar and that's it. There we go. So you have your plugs underneath so you can uh, And that's clamped. So like the standard zero points, it works on a, on a negative way. So you have to put the power on to release the collet. So now the power's off, that's clamped and away that can go in the machine. I love this system, Matt, because one, you can introduce some of your other pro portfolio of products of onto, a, yeah. onto a top plate. Right. It gives you the versatility to, to automate. Yeah. Um, so there's so many different options with with this system yeah. and, and ultimately you get the repeatability and save that setup time which is absolutely key nowadays definitely i mean a lot of the customers would you know if they had a lot of fixtures on the shelf that they spend sort of three or four hours setting up each job and you should they shouldn't be doing that they should be doing the, this offline and all, all you need to do is modify your existing fixtures with these plugs have the plugs on the shelf and you literally put them on, take them off, within a couple of minutes you're, you're ready to go. Eliminating setup times, no need to reset datums all the time, you can set your coordinates in, in, in your program um, and, and you're just ready to go like you say. You've also got another hydraulic or pneumatic system down here Matt, now this looks like your microlock system but automated. This is the microlock system, yeah this can be fully automated, um, you can either have it, have it as a manual valve operation so you can see just by simply turning that or we can supply it with a, an electric solenoid valve which will run the pump on with M codes to the machine so you can obviously use it in the future with automation with robots and things like that so Matt excellent system um, and it's been great reviewing your products and, and I'm really liking the video that you, you've got playing in the background as well. It looks like one of the Swarf and Chips that we've done it many is, years ago. Is. You do look a bit younger there, oh, no, Matt. It's probably about four years old, to be <laughs> honest. Yeah, yeah. Matt, brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. So there you have it, Mac 2022, a review of the Microlock stand and all the products and solutions that are available from Microlock. To find out more, contact Microlock.